right spot. Pull up one of the Cape Nebula pictures to see exactly if we're in the right spot. I think we are, but let's take a look and see. I also have the fixed focus too, but that's okay. Oh, my phone just died. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? You know, more. We might be off by just a slight bit. And that's why I'm just figuring this out here. Let me check it, a previous image just to see where it is here. I'm pretty sure. Let me just stop that. Go to this. Then go to... Do we have... Yes. Just go to one of the images that I took previously and match it and see if that's truly where it is. Gonna go this way. Whoa. We don't need it that bright. Okay, now let me see. Use that. Aha! There's those stars right there. And there's that right there. Okay. Okay. Aha! Plus, it's moved just a little bit, too. Okay. Let me take off the circle so I know what the hell I'm doing. Move that out of the way. We got this here, and we got that there. Okay. So, it's actually tilted. So, when I clean... <laughs> when I clean the refractor, I moved it. So, that's what it is. So, that's why it's all screwed up. Okay. So, it's got to go down. Okay. That's fine. Alright, perfect. Okay. Whew! Alright, so I know exactly where we are. So we're, we're pretty darn close. Just gotta look for this bright star right there. Ready, people? That was close. Alright. I just gotta find the bright star and move this over to, and just a smidge. Now we're gonna bring this sucker all the way down. All right, now we're in, now we're in business. We may not get that, those stars, but I really don't care. I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit more here. There we go. Bring it more towards the middle. All right, that should do it. That should be right dead center. And that's what I want, right in the middle. Perfect. Excellent. Perfecto. That's the star right there. That's the one that I want. And the cave is actually going to sit right here. Perfecto. All right. We weren't that far off because that's that big star there. So we're not far at all. Now it's just a matter of just get this thing in focus. Okay. Focus. Right there. That's perfect, right there. That's beautiful. That's perfect focus right there. The little stars are absolutely beautiful. Let me just double check. Just make sure. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, great. Alright, now, the next thing. We are good to go with that. Perfect. All right, we're going to turn on the guider. Had to recalibrate the guider, too, which that was loads of fun also. Get out of here, you mosquito. So tonight will be the first night that I'm going to be trying the refractor after it's been cleaned. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot better than the previous images that I've taken. I may notice them, but to the standard viewer watching online, you may not notice it. But I think it's going to make all the difference in the world for images in general. And I'm pretty excited about that. I'm pretty ecstatic, and I can't wait to see what we're going to get. So we're going to find out. The cave nebula is going to sit right in here, right in the middle of the screen. Now, up to this point, 
it was the I think it was the seventeenth. I I think I took these eighteenth. So it was the eighteenth I took these. I only got two. I only got two twenty minute images. That's it. Before I had to call it quits. So and that's when the clouds came in. I only have two. So I'm hoping, really, really hoping that we're gonna get a bunch. There are a ton of freaking planes. And, and, and satellites coming through. Jeez Louise. Wow. We ain't like in, in the area of satellites. We better not be. I don't think so. I think all the satellites are on the south side. No, we're not. We're not even close. Ryan Camera Studio. The camera that has 600 lives. It never dies. Alright. We're almost done with the east step. Now if you're looking at the screen, I've made a few adjustments. Which I think is going to be beneficial to the person who is an amateur astronomer. And what I did was on the bottom right... I have called it the guiding center. Um, so this way I don't have to have my guiding program up 24-7 so everybody to take a look for that. You can easily just look at the bottom right to see the numbers to see where everything is. And then it'll be up there the entire episode, which is phenomenal. I think that's great. I think that's good for everybody. So you'll be able to see that. So that is really good. And that will be up there on every episode from going on going forward. And it doesn't really get in the way with what I do for imaging because I try to figure out where everything is. So like over here is where the picture of me is. And then over here is the picture of guiding. So I'm going to try my best not to put things in here to say, Hey, look over here! And you, you know, you're not going to be able to see it. So I'm hoping that I don't put anything here or put anything over there. We should be really good. I try to keep all the numbers as good as possible because sometimes I may go, hey, look at the numbers there. Can you see the numbers? No, you can't because everything gets blocked out. So, And then the other thing, too, is, is if I minimize it, the numbers stop. So I have to keep this maximized the entire time. But that doesn't mean I can't take this and bring it over because now you can't see the numbers. But wait, they're on the bottom right. So they're, they're going to be there so that you'll be able to see everything on there. So that's great. I'm going to add more things on here. I'm going to try to do what I can to make it a little bit easier for you to view. So, we're only at 0.8 drop frames. That's great. I think I fixed the internet problem. I think there's no lag. People, tell me. Tell me if there's no lag. Tell me if there's no lag, and I, I, I think we'll be in good shape. A couple people liked it, liked the video. Awesome. Fantastic. We started a little late. Um didn't take into effect that I had to put everything back together after I cleaned it. Uh, I had to realign the guide scope to make sure it was pointing exactly the same spot than what the telescope is. I had to re-put the dew straps back on for the dew heaters. I had to do that. Uh, I had to tighten down the bottom uh, ring to make sure that the telescope didn't move. So there was a bunch of things that I wanted to do. And of course the internet didn't work. Why not? You know, just why not? So the internet didn't work, so I had to figure that out for a while. So once I got that figured out, then I think, you know, then it was just a piece of cake. We should be guiding now. Yeah, I know it's different, but that's fine. I moved it a little bit, but that's fine. All right, so and we are guiding. All right. Okay, not bad. All right. So we did 2,400 seconds on the last one. Um, we're gonna try to do. Um, we could probably start out at 1,800. 
a solid number, I would think. What does everybody think? What should I do? I don't know. I haven't really decided what I want to do. I'll probably do... I mean, guiding looks really good tonight, so... We'll try 1,800, because we'll get more exposures this way. It's focused. It's ready. It's rearing to go. Might as well. Sequence for this one. S H two one fifty five. We'll do shorter exposures with this one. So we'll do let's see six hundred is ten minutes, six sixty, seven twenty. We'll do seven eighty for this one. I mean it, it won't be anywhere close to this, but at least we'll get more exposures, which means while we're waiting, I can at least show something in the meantime. The guiding looks to be spot freaking on tonight. Freaking love it. So now I can actually take this thing to the right, take the thing to the left. I can cover up guiding and it can, and it'll still show guiding on there and I won't, I won't have to worry about it. Oh, it's cutting it off. Okay. There we go. Now you'll be able to see the whole thing. Okay, perfect. I'm glad I caught that. Okay. So, I'm going to try my hardest between the two of them. The right will be short exposures. The left will be super long exposures. And then we'll just go from there. And then when I edit the video, I'd like to keep the actual edited video to 25 minutes. That is the goal. Uh, if 25 minutes is too long, please let me know. And then I can try to shorten it for everybody. The live, sky's the limit. I mean, I don't really care. I can go an hour. I can go an hour and a half. I can go two hours. It all depends on what you, the viewer, wants to see. Let me check to see if there's any comments. No. No comments. I'm going to like the video just because... Oh, wait. I do. I do have comments. Oh, I do have comments. So how about that? And I see that there's no lag. The BAA is watching me, which is great. That's the Buffalo Astronomical Association. And I appreciate that. And then I got an alien symbol, which is always good, too. So we do have comments. All right, so we are at 417 on the right. We are just above halfway on the right-hand side, and the left-hand side, we're at a quarter. Oh, trust me, Laura, you're not missing a shout-out. Anybody that gets a comment, you're going to see it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because as you can see, I got all the comments right here. So if, if you comment, you get a shout out. <laughs> Simple as that. I, I got this all figured out perfectly. Finally, anyways. Again, if you're just tuning in, we are getting the Cave Nebula, the one on the left. Is going to be in hydrogen alpha. It's shot with my QHY 9C. And then the one on the right is my Orion G3. There's no filters whatsoever. This is just a straight up shot right through a, the Sigma macro lens. And by the way, I apologize for the last, uh, last night with cleaning the refractor, the video. I didn't come prepared. Uh, that didn't go so well. Um, I need a tripod for my phone. I have three tripods for telescopes and two mounts, but no tripod for my phone. And I couldn't leave it somewhere, so I had to hold it somehow. Just pull up. It looks like outside. So 
looking pretty good. Alright. And no, I don't clean houses. Talk to my wife on that one. I don't clean houses. I clean telescopes. That's pretty much what I do. I'm really good at cleaning optic lenses, so if you ever need something clean for, you know, a camera or a TV, I could do that. But no, I don't clean houses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll get two images on the right before we get the one on the left. Please. Don't screw up on me, please. Thank God it didn't screw up. Stars don't look too bad. They're not terrible. Remember, I'm shooting this on a Sigma macro lens, so it is not a phenomenal lens it's an achromatic lens so there's going to be a lot of aberration so you won't exactly see pinpoint and I guess that's fine to a certain degree because this is my my what's called the cheap setup so really it's I'm not too worried about it We we do we will have some nebulosity down here. We will get some. Not a lot, but we'll get some. And you're gonna get a dust lane right through here. So it is gonna be there. It's not gonna be phenomenal. But I'll take it. And you're gonna see like like I was saying, though with the stars, the colors don't exactly match up, as you can see because it's bloating, I need a minus violet filter to eliminate this from this camera. So it's going to take some time for me to get that. Uh, I had a nebula lens on here when it was a CLS filter, a cheap one. But it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I'm going to get a really expensive light pollution filter for this one. And also a minus violet filter for this to eliminate that. And I do still have some dust motes on here. That I'll, I'll take care of that. That that's not a big deal to me. And then of course there's a lot of hot and cold pixels again with calibration frames that'll go away too. Not bad for then this one is three thirteen minutes. It's not terrible. Try to get this as focused as I possibly could. That's really not bad. I'm pretty pretty happy with that. And I think. What did I take this before? I took 900 seconds on this one. So this one was 15 minutes. And actually I'll pull it up so everybody can take a look and see the difference of what it should be. Or how close it is anyways. And how off I was. Yeah, you can see I was just, just a slight bit off. That's the cave right up here. So we can actually take this over here and take that there and see how close I was. I'm just a slight bit off. I should have moved the dumb camera. I should have. I didn't. My bad, people. My bad. 15 minutes compared to 13. Not bad. Now this one I didn't clean. So this one is, was, is next on the list of cleaning lenses. So who knows, maybe I might do a live video of that one too. Who knows? And the one on the left, again, we're shooting 30 minutes. So it's a 30 minute exposure. So the waiting. How's guiding looking? Because I can't see. <laughs> the hell happened? Hey. Guiding was going really, really, really well, and all of a sudden it did, we just hit a dip. Did something go in front of it? Yep. Son of a... Come on! There's high haze. There's haze going through. you got to be kidding me. The clouds... Had, it had to wait, you know? It had to wait till I was about 16 minutes into the exposure. 
And it's not even like the dark clouds. It's like the the SHIT clouds that are going to come in and, and just absolutely wreck the, the friggin' image. At least the trend lines are still fine. It, it might still be okay. That one's at 587, 588, so we're almost there. But there's there's high haze that's going right through this. And you could just barely see it. I, I If you're watching on your phone, you might not be able to see it. Because if you don't have like 720p or whatever it is, so you might not be able to catch it. But there is haze going through. The, those very high clouds are just whipping through. And that's what's causing the guiding. Because... Any bit of clouds, like if you if you've done auto guiding, any bit of clouds that, that'll go through will affect this just so so slightly because you're you're dealing with something that is just minuscule for error. Like even somebody just walking by the mount, you'll be able to tell. Like I could walk by the mount and you'll see it actually bounce up and down. So. It's very, very minuscule. And this will be a, a telling tale of what that one's going to look like, the one on the left. You can tell the screen on the left just got a little bit darker and then got lighter again. Well, the stars didn't move. The brightness stayed the same, so maybe, just maybe, they might be fine. That's encouraging. That's at 90%, so that that's makes me feel a little bit better. I'm settling down again because the clouds are probably gone. They're still just just barely hanging on, hanging around. Let's see the next frame. Oh god, it's still there. There's one band here, there's one band there, and then you can just barely see another band coming in here. All right, 97%. All right, I heard a click. Here we go. What was your prediction? What do we think? What, what do we think? Is it going to be good, bad? Uh, I don't know. Jesus, that's freaking bright. Oh, God. Lord, the brightness. You can definitely tell where the cave is on this picture. Cave sits right here. And there, you can see where some of the clouds came through just a little bit. See how the stars look. What do you think, people? What do you think? How do the stars look? They look good? Well, I'll tell you right now, I can see there's one error. I can see it. And if you look at the stars, look on the left-hand side of the star. They look bloated on the left-hand side on every single one of them. And that was that blip because of the damn cloud that was going through. It's not terrible. It's not noticeable if you're going to go super long. But this is the cave that sits right here. And it actually looks like an actual cave. Actually, just see if I can bring it out just a little bit more here for you. There you go. And of course, I'm at like two times magnification. If I were to actually go like this and bring it out. You can really see the cave in this one. Now I'm taking the exposure or taking the histogram and just absolutely cranking this to the point where... The stars look ten times bigger than what they should be, but this just gives everybody a live view of what it you know what it will look like when I actually stack it. So you'll be able to see the actual cave itself right here. Bringing it down like this, 
actually not too bad. For this being a 30 minute image, it's not bad at all. I can definitely handle that for this being 30 minutes. 